Hello and welcome to this section of the tutorial. What we're going to do here is continue working with higher order derivatives, increase the uh, complexity of our example problems just a little bit, but we're going to be doing exactly the same process. We're going to be taking derivatives in sequence, arriving at the second derivative, the third derivative, and so on, giving you some practice just with a little bit more complicated problems to kind of get in our way a little bit, give you a little bit of practice with dealing with that. So, as an example, let's say we had we, we had a function f of x is the sine of x squared, where x squared is what's being operated on with the sine. Now what we want to find in this case is the third derivative, d uh, cubed f dx cubed. So we're writing it in that notation just to give you a little bit of a flavor for writing it and seeing it in different ways, but it's the same as f triple prime of x. So the first thing we need to do is find the first derivative. So we say df dx, that's the first derivative, is going to be the derivative of this function. But notice we're going to have to use the chain rule here because we have sine and then we have another function on the inside of it. So we look at the big picture of the sine and we take the derivative of that first. Cosine, we leave the inside, x squared intact, but we can't stop there. We have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Okay. So just to sort of keep it all compact on the same line, when you rewrite this, you'll have 2x cosine x squared. And that's the first derivative. So if your question was find the first derivative, that would be the answer. Obviously, we have to keep going, though. So let's find the second derivative of this function. So we write it as d uh, squared f dx uh, with a 2 there. That's the second derivative. The way we do that is we find our first derivative and we take the derivative again. But notice things have gotten more complicated because now we have cosine x squared, but we also have another function of x on the outside multiplied by our cosine. What do you do when you have two functions multiplied by one another? You have to use the product rule, right? So we have the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And if it helps you visualize this a little bit, put some little parentheses around this. It's not going to change a thing, but you can visualize this as a function multiplied by another function. So we're going to start out with first function times the derivative, cosine of x squared. So first times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative, just to keep it consistent, I'll put the 2x here, times the derivative of the first. So first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. All right, so second derivative, d, you know what, I'm just going to keep it here, not keep rewriting this over and over again. So what this is going to be, 2x, what is the derivative of this term? Again, we have to use the chain rule. Derivative of cosine is negative sine x squared. We have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. Okay, so we've done that. What about over here? Plus cosine x squared. What is the derivative of 2x? It's just simply 2. So that one's much, much easier. So let's go ahead and rewrite everything here. So we have a negative sign, negative. 2 times 2 is 4. x times x is x squared. So we have 4x squared sine x squared plus, the 2 comes out, cosine x squared. Right? So we have negative 4x squared sine x squared times, or plus 2 times cosine of uh, x squared. So this is d squared f dx squared. This